It's time to rumble! JT here, Nortel Connection, with Ryan, with Chad, and it is a Royal Rumble special no-so tier maker. We're pretty pumped up, boys. Rumble season is always a great time in the world of wrestling. Kicks you off down the path to Mania season, and who doesn't love the Royal Rumble? Everyone loves the Royal Rumble. New fans, nostalgic fans, everyone loves the Royal Rumble. All right, Justin, let's get in the rules here as we get going. What's What are okay. we doing here? All right, so we are ranking tier maker of the greatest Royal Rumble winner, all the Royal Rumble winners, from greatest to worst. So this is a gut feeling ranking. We're going to go intangibles. We're going to go importance, performance, whatever. It's all kind of bundled up into one. We got three of us. We don't want this thing to last forever. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in draft order, up and down, snake order, from Ryan to me to Chad, and then back. We're going to randomize the list. The person who comes up to make the pick gets to slot the winner. The other two people can veto and have a discussion. If if both don't veto, then it stays where it is and we move on to the next one. So we'll see how that goes and, and where it leads. We're going to do uh, two go, uh, ten in the other, four, uh, four in the middle, and then one worst of all time winner. That's, what, so that's where we're headed. Ten in each yellow category here. Yep. All right. All right. So the randomized list, Ryan, you start off with 2003. So that's Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Uh, I'm just going to go straight off the bat. I think it would be safe if we put him right in the good category. I don't think it – I think he was the right guy at the right time, and I'm not sure if he – he might end up great, but I don't think he's mid. I think he's at least very good. Yeah, I think he'll end up in the bottom of the good, but I'm okay with it now. No veto here. You good, Chad? Yeah, I, I think good's probably actually his floor. Um I, I mean, I think it's a good rumble when you yeah. take everything else into account. He was the logical winner. and He had a qualify was, for it earlier in the night. He earned it. Uh, Taker gave him his respect. And, you know, this is peak Brock at this time, too. All right. All right, I'm up next. We got 1995, the hot break kid, Shawn Michaels. This may surprise some people where I'm going with this, uh, but I'm going to make my buddy Marcus proud. I'm putting him in the mid. Um, only a... 30-minute whatever rumble. They hype it up so much as the first to last. Um, it's memorable with the one foot, one foot, one foot. But the match itself is littered with bums. He loses at Mania. Um, so I think it's it's not bad because it's memorable with, with the uh, Pam Anderson stuff and the way that he does go first to last and, and bounces around at the end of Bulldog. But to me, it's like never in doubt that he's going to win. There's really no one else. So uh, I, don't, I don't think it's in the top. Uh, my gut would say good, but... It's I think we're going to have a lot of good. Yeah, it, it gets tricky. Um, I mean, it's definitely one of the worst rumbles, I think, just with the brev the uh, brevity of it and how there, there's just not any contenders, like you mentioned. So I, I don't think this, like, cemented him as a main event player. Like, it was just, okay, there's no one else, so it kind of – he has to be. Right. The, the only reason I say good is because historically he's the first one to do it, even though it's you know thirty well, seconds. In the in the second yeah, but that was such a cop out. Like, there's no reason. Right. I know the roster's so thin, but like, if you're going to commit to that and do that, then just go all the way with it. Like, it and then sucks. you have a historical finish too. So, so yeah. sucks. that's why well, to see, me it's well, good. Spin it like, I don't think you know, it's bad without those things. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't, I don't think it's like a, a lock and. um yeah. Yeah, I, I think there are guys before him that don't go first to last that are more impressive. Like Flair, 92, it's, it's not even close. And then like Backlund and Martell, I think, uh, maybe not Backlund, he's kind of boring, but Martell in 91, I think is a better performance, even though he doesn't go bell to bell. Um, all, right. all right, Chad, you're up next, 2010. Oh. No, the edge. Was, yeah, I was here live for this one. So it's it's a cool comeback. Um, Were you able to figure it out while you were there with Edge? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we uh, we had calls. We had calls there uh, for him to come back. Uh, I'm gonna go mid. I mean, I'm a notorious edge hater. Um, I think the comeback's cool, but he comes out late. I don't think his run afterwards is anything special. Um, it's more about the moment itself with the comeback, but I I don't know. This isn't one of the more memorable rumbles, honestly, either. Too. No, I just watched it from Place to Be podcast. I wasn't like, I was expecting better out of it, honestly. I was a little disappointed um, in how it played out. Again, though, a great moment. But I, I think I think mid works. I think it's similar to Sean. Like it's 
it's a cool yeah. finish, a cool moment, but there's not a lot there, and he doesn't win the belt at Mania. So it's actually kind of similar in a way, you know. Yeah. I would have Sean above him right here, but yeah. um, I can yeah. see both of these perhaps moving up if we don't like what we're looking at later on. So I'm good with it for now. I think yeah. mid may just be this – I think the tiers tend to take on a form as you go through it, right? So if I yeah. think for us, mid may become like memorable – moment but like not like super important or not a great rumble along with it something like that so all right all right chad you're up again with 2011 so that's the first 40 man and that's del rio oh i think i gotta go bad here um i don't think i think you know he was rumored to win for a while um the 40 man was just way too bloated I haven't watched that match in a while, but I can't. I, I mean, right now I'm trying to write my brain for anything memorable from it. Diesel and, and uh, Santino, right at the end, is like pretty funny. Oh, this is all yeah, right. This is the fake it, out the, with him. The right. beginning was really good, but other than that, we, we peaked like at six. And Booker, <laughs> Booker's fun in there, but it's yeah. it's not is that's Booker's return, right? From TNA, is that his first match back? Yeah, yeah man, this Nash's is the return. Nexus stuff in the beginning. Yeah, Brian in, in Punk pretty much in the okay, floor jumping. So it's in. coming back to me. But yeah, I mean I'm you know, Del Rio's such a like now twelve years after the fact, he's such a kind of guy moment in time, but didn't have yeah. any of a lasting legacy. So well and again he loses. So and he <laughs> like, loses. in lose the opener. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think bad. good. With all right, I got 2014, so that's Batista. Uh, pretty uh, pretty memorable one uh, we're, th we're there for. I, I would say uh, I feel like it's one that's better in hindsight, right, because of everything that happened after it. But, I, I mean, Brian not coming back and winning completely um, the sabotage the whole match. Like, I'm not going with him. I think it ruined Batista until he could figure it out. Um later like he gets good later when he goes healed evolution so propels him but it's hard to really like credit for any of it i mean it's just it, i don't know it's almost impossible to grade 14 and 15 to me because of just of how overwhelming the crowd negative crowd response was to it all the rejection is the rejection makes you feel bad to mid honestly um I, I think just the booking rejecting Brian. Look at Ray gets booed. Um, I'm gonna go bad. It, I'm gonna. I mean, I don't think you can see this a mile away. I think it's bad yeah. easily. Yeah, yeah. It sucks because I, I like him, and then I end up liking the run. And he's great at Mania, <laughs> but you almost needed this to get him there. I mean, you could say that for it, but um, it, it was rough being there live and just expecting Brian to come out right until the end, and he doesn't. Um, yeah, I just I have a lasting memory of that show of. After it was over and we got back to the hotel room, D'Amato eating pizza on the floor and me just like, you know, what am I doing as a wrestling fan? So that, that image itself has to put it in bad for me. I pulled myself up off the floor for that match. And that's yeah, what they did to uh, me. It's, it was just uh, perplexing. All right. All right, Ryan, you're up next with the 2023 women. 2023 women. Oh, Rhea. Uh, Oof. Uh, the women are hard to grade, honestly. Um, I think she's one of the better w women women winner. I had a great seat there. I would say good for now. I would say just good. I think she's pro like she's better than Charlotte. Um, she's e around Bianca, but that did she win it? Man, I don't remember. Did she won? Right? Is that the best? Yeah, she had right? a great. Yeah, she had an excellent match with Charlotte. Uh, I yeah. think she's good. I think good is a safe. Yeah, pick I think for that's her fine here. for now. We can readjust. I don't, I don't have an issue with it for now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, you're up again, Ryan, 2009. So that's Orton with the uh, legacy stuff, right? Oh, that's great. That's great off the bat. Uh, any rejection? I think he comes in early. He tells a good story. Um, he he kind of goes through all of the big guys in the match. His cronies are right with him. Uh -huh. uh, and then I love the finish with Triple H overcoming and then him throwing him out. And it's a massive pop. You had the Vince, Vince Angle, the, the Raw before coming out of it. Uh, the great build to WrestleMania 25, and the match just stinks. The match is just fine at best. Right. So I think I think he's great as a Royal Rumble winner. Well, they just they screwed up the the match structure. Like the build was awesome, and yeah, they it should have. We've talked about it ad nauseum, but it shouldn't have been 
and Chad, you were on that PTP, I think, right? I and mean, we went we went through everything about yeah. it, but yeah, it they been, had, they uh, had a death match brawl. Mm-hmm. This win definitely leveled him up a tier. So I think yeah, Gray yeah. is. I think Gray's good. All right, 2008. Uh, so oh, that's Cena's yeah. return, yeah. right? So I think that's great. Um, yeah, that's great. I'm back, back to back right here. No one expected it. Not rumored at all. Again, he just, it's a theme in these late 2000s. He doesn't win the belt, right? At, at uh, maybe I don't. I don't think it was even the worst idea though, because Orton was so red hot as that character. Mm-hmm. Like I was okay with it, but um, it is a little weird. But again, the moment to me overwhelmingly Ultimately. is so amazing. It's gonna I, be on there. Him showing up. I mean, like you think about like surprise moments since then, and. He said the I mean, I, I I don't know if there's ever or ever will be now with, like, the way Twitter is and, you mm-hmm. know, like, our constant conversation that even something like Punk at Survivor Series, like, that was so, like, I wouldn't have put that at a high probability, but, you know, people were talking and theorizing and stuff like that. Like, nobody oh, thought Cena was going to be in this rumble till his and this is- this is absolutely peak hate Cena too. Like we're sick yeah, of him. We're yeah. done with and him. They all pop, like, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, Ma- Madison Square Garden goes nuts, and then nuts. once he gets in the ring, because like, like you could, it's the ultimate. Like, oh, this is my natural reaction to being surprised and being happy yeah, right. that I'm surprised, Epic. and then oh, wait a minute, I hate this. Well, guy. Chad, we talked about a recent wrestling war zone, right? With like the smarky Madison, uh, the Manhattan center yeah. crowd, all the ECW smarks and they lose their shit yeah. when the Legion of Doom comes Legion out. Right. Doom. So, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's similar. It's similar to that. Um, this is just, I mean, this was not rumored at all. And I can't think of a moment since then, like at this magnitude that didn't have like any rumors or nothing like it was crazy. So, yeah, I would say it's probably the best rumble surprise ever. And I don't, I don't think it'll be top. So, yeah. All right, so Chad, you're up That's next. Uh, this is an interesting one. I, I, be curious. Uh, 2000, The Rock. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go mid for now. Um, I don't think I think this is a very replacement level rumble to me. Um. I don't think Rock needed to win, obviously, by this point. So you're not getting any benefit there. Also, as someone that lost at Mania, so we continue that. Um, I'm trying to think because I don't. I mean, I could see an argument for me for bad, but I'm I I'm vetoing. I think it's bad. As someone watched it recently with War with Marcus, I don't know if there's the twelve happens. though that are worse. Well. <laughs> He I didn't even win the Rumble, but I think it's mid. I, the the match itself is kind of bland in the finish. Yeah, like he doesn't really win. Big Show wins, and that's the whole storyline after. And then he loses at Mania anyway. The best thing about it is like the pop he gets, but um, there's really not much to it. Him and Xbox have a fun little blip at the end, but I would put it at the top of bad. But if it's at the bottom of mid for now, like it's fine. But I think it's gonna be short lived. I, I just we'll like, see. I how think it's Edge is higher. Up. HBK is higher. Yeah. I'm okay with mid for now. Once we kind of fill up more, we can kind of ask us. All right, Chad, you're still up. 2013. So it's uh, that is John Cena. Oh, right, right. Cena, yeah. Um, the uh, the uh, eliminated. Yeah, live this back. Is, all right. This is the one in Phoenix, right? Um, yeah, I'm I'm going mid here too, actually. Um, this is an argument. This could be bad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, I, I don't, mania match. It shouldn't have been the mania match, like at all. Well, once in a lifetime again. Um, <laughs> they were handcuffed, the but run. to me, that's not his fault with anything in him in the rumble. Like, I, who know, else I, I, mean, I, I guess I've kind of been factoring it into my thoughts, but yeah, you don't have to. I mean, just because, like, event- just because Rock had to be pumped for the title. I mean, the main event of WrestleMania should have been Punk Cena that year. Right. And that's my argument. That, yeah, that should okay. have been the main event. That should have been. So if you had Punk win and then you have 
Cena win the Rumble like that, you get to the same, you get to the spot I would desire. I mean, it's it's not a good Rumble, you know. It's not. It's very replacement level too, from what I recall. So. Right. Yeah. Cena winning still would. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So him winning wasn't really the problem. It was more of the champion. Was yeah. the problem. Right. Yeah. Right. I think mid's fine for now. All right. I got a 2017. Orton. Oh yeah. Um. So I like the build to this. I really like the Orton Bray team, and I like them playing it that it was like a a long con, right? That he was working, working the Wyatts and setting him up to try and get himself into position for world title match. The match is all time bad, <laughs> all time bad at mania. Oh, Some would say top bottom five, Justin. Mm. Yeah. Sounds about right. Uh, <laughs> I'd say Dudaru. So I would, uh, I don't remember a ton about the performance. Anything stand out of the match? I remember liking the angle quite a bit, but Reigns comes out uh, 30. Him and, and then have pretty much Wyatt or in, in Reigns at the bottom three after Goldberg, after... Um, yeah, this felt like it Aker. should have been Lesnar's, and then you had, like, Goldberg run through him again. Baker, Lesnar, th- those giants are thrown out, and it, these are the final right. three. And then they have a really cool spear. Wyatt kind of sacrifices himself. Roman gets rid of him, and then Wharton comes from behind and throws out Roman to a big pop because Roman I mean, doesn't win. I'd like to say good. As, I mean, the fact that I don't remember it as well, yeah. I guess, doesn't stand out. But probably toward the front of the mids, I would say. Um, oh, because again, I like that they had that long storyline play out in the match. I would say in between Michaels and Edge, right now. If you want to go in the mid category. Okay, I'd put Cena ahead of Rock too. By the way, if we want to. Do a yes, I was going to just say yeah, that. Fine. All right, who's up, Chad? No, I'm up. Oh, it's right. Okay, 98, Austin, second one. Mm-hmm. Ooh, second one. Uh, great. I think it's better than Roman. I'm, excuse me, I think it's better than Brock. It might be at the top tier good, but I think it's great. It solidifies a star, and it goes on to him winning the title. I think it's easily great, but I don't think it's as big. Ah, it could be above – well, first of all, Cena's above Orton, right? right. Just because yeah, of the yeah. moment. Um, I think it's great, and we can assess later. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna die on the hill, but it's just the only negative you say is that it's it's almost like a poor man's 95. Like, there's not a ton of challengers. You know, he's winning. It's obvious, but sometimes the obvious thing is a good thing. They didn't overthink it. Yeah. They didn't do some stupid swerve. Like they would, we just talked about the Rock thing, right? Like they just yeah. went. They went with the plan. He was the most overstar. He needed to go to Mania's as uh, the number one contender. The crowd, that's what they wanted. That's what they delivered. And he kicked the shit out of a bunch of guys. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think the back end of great probably makes sense. I got one more. You good at that, Chad? Yeah. I, I de- yeah, these are going to get tough. I'm thinking about these with Austin's. Austin's all are kind of weird, but we can hatch them out as we go. Yeah. I just think his, his old one is the best performance. Well, actually, no. Ninety-seven is pretty great performance. All right, we'll get yeah, there when we get there. We'll get there. All right, <laughs> give me the next one. Twenty sixteen, Ryan. So that's Triple H winning the world title. Yeah, mid. I think it's mid off the bat. Mid, uh, mid's getting crowded. We might have to do some bad. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like it. I, I don't know, like. Uh, I didn't think it was that bad of a performance, and I'm like, I kind of like the story. It's just the payoff should have been Roman just just kicking the shit out of him and taking his title back, but the crowd actually pops for it. I think it's a good surprise. And like him saying, I'm just taking it into my own hands. So Roman doesn't win. Um, and Ambrose doesn't win. So like, I, and that's an awesome rumble. So I don't know. He comes out 30. Back in the mid, I think it's higher, but that's me. All right. Is he over the, where would you think? Edge? Triple H? I mean, he or, has it in good. I'd have it at the back end of good. That's me. Mm-hmm. It's a mayor roll too. He's a, He's only the second guy ever to win the title in the Rumble, right? Well, he doesn't do much. It's everyone else bouncing off of him. <laughs> I know, but it's again, it's like a cool moment. It was a surprise. Like he wins the world title. It's, it's I like, put Triple H. I put HBK ninety five over that personally. You want to move HBK to good? I think that's where we land if we're getting kind of thick in the mid. All right, Chad, move it up. Oh, move it up right now. It's gonna move right back down. But all right. Um, all right, uh, who's up? Me? Yeah. All right, 2018 women. So that's the first Oscar. ever one that's Oscar. Oscar. Yeah. 
uh that's a great women's rumble probably the best one so far right yeah um she's a great choice to win they fucked her up at mania of course get the moment with ronda coming out at the end um historical it's the first one i'd have her great back into great she was great she was awesome in the match bailey's really awesome in the match um and as being kind of the you know or sasha right was i both of them or is it sasha's really good in that match yeah they kind of and becky start yeah, Sasha really drives the match, but I thought Oscar's great. I think back into great for now with the potential for good. Um, all right, 2020 men, Chad. That's Edge's next surprise return, right? I believe. No, 2020. 2020 is. Oh, Drew. Is that Drew? Drew. Oh, Drew. But Edge did return Drew. the match, didn't he? Is that what I'm thinking of? 2020. Do no. Do you need me to give you a rundown, Chad? Are you good? Well, it's, uh, I mean, this one's. Definitely in my do not care, or so I'll, I'll hear. I'll hear any arguments if. Uh, I, th- I think. I think. I think it's great. I think it's better than Oscar. Oh, well, I don't. I don't know if it's gonna go in great. I, I might be told <laughs> myself. Shut the fuck up. Let, let, me just, let me just. Let me just stop you right there. Great was no, not no. where I was leading. Drew he, 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 he has his. He has, well, Brock well, has well. the run. Brock has the run. He has the great elimination on Brock. He has the great moment with Edge when Edge returns. He has that great moment with Edge returns. He eliminates the end, and then he gets rid of Roman at the end. And then the, the he's just made. I think he's responded well. I think it's a great moment, and he's a great winner, and he's the great choice. If you want to go good, I'm fine. Yeah, I think it'd be just, remembered better too without the COVID mania. Like if he goes yeah, to be a real yeah, mania, I mean, that's the title. problem. It's just like this comes before. I think good. I I just I mean looking at the list, it's like. Maybe that Rumble performance is better than Lesnar in 03 if you just look at it in a vacuum. But, like, yeah. Drew's not Lesnar. So, like, if you put them next to each other and it's like they have one Rumble win on their resume, it's tough for me to say, like, oh, yeah, we got to put McIntyre. I mean, that that's the debate I have on a lot of these, actually. Well, Brock has two Rumble wins. <laughs> well, that's true, too, but. Yeah. I mean, even I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I it's think better it. than Rhea. I think it's better than Rhea if we want to put it there. Okay, but this isn't even mine. You suggest it, and I'll go off of it. I, I, I mean, good's fine with me, but great seems very. I'll put them in the uh, middle. Of just look it at the board. I think there's definitely room. I mean, we got four already. We only have twelve spots. I can think of eight others that I, I think would surpass. Yeah. That. All right. Put in good for now. I think put in good okay. for now. All right. All right, Chad, we're right in your wheelhouse. We're staying here with uh, the 2021 men. God dang it. You know, this is the, this is the, uh, Thunder and this Dome. is the COVID one. Yeah. I mean, could we just put this in bad? Like, who would even want? I don't remember. It's Edge. Edge. Oh, this yeah. was Edges? Yes. Yeah, this is Edges. Yeah. He returned, and, in the I, week. he returned the year before, and this is the one he won. He came in at one. They had, remember they announced it on Fox. Orton was two. Orton went away for half the match. Edge Edge was okay, but he laid around. He was gassed. Uh, it's I a three and a half. Of the Thunderdome, anything above that? Yeah, I mean the Thunderdome. Unless what it's I mean, Rain, unless it's Roman and Uso, that's about it. I, I'd I'd put that at the end of bad too. Like I don't think it's. Oh, the real so bad though in retrospect, but I don't. Maybe, think. but it's just I can't. Like that's just a vacuum. I agree. Just based off the lengths, we got to fill 10 of these. This is bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely lower end. All right. All right um, let's just, uh, finish off some of these modern ones. So my, my next one is 2023 20, men. Um, so oh, that was Cody. Cody this year. It was an awesome yeah. one. Great. It's great. Uh, I think it's above Oscar. Above what? Austin. Cody? He comes in at 30. Gunther's great in that rumble. <laughs> yeah, but Cody, was a, that was the guy. I would say good. Like I'd say around Triple H. It's the same. It's the same story. They come in third. You have Rhea yeah. ahead of him just from the performance. Yeah, I think Rhea's ahead of him in the performance. Rhea comes in at like three or no one. Excuse me. Yeah. And she's kick ass. Cody was comes Cody back. Harry's injured. Surprise. Cody was announced. He was announced, but he him coming out at thirty. If he came out at like 28, 29, and Mad Cap came out at 30 for sure, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Mad Cap was announced. We're still waiting on him. I right, put him ahead of Triple H at least. I'd put Jack, him ahead. I'd, 
I mean, this again, this is where it gets into the him versus McIntyre debate. Like, McIntyre I mean, has a way better performance. Well, all right, singular performance, but don't you think historically, like, Cody's going to be seen as bigger and. Well, the match was better. He was also wasn't in the PC. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm good if you want to. I do mean, that, he right? had an all time mania main event, right? I mean, I did love the match. Or not, but... I'm good with this right here. All okay. right, all right, leave it there for now. Um, all right, now we can get in the groove here. Uh, Ryan, you got 1996 Shawn Michaels mm. mid, right? Mid yeah. about better than Edge. He's similar to, um, yeah, above Rock for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think mid is fine. Um, he's yeah. really good in the performance. It's just the match is so yeah. boring and the crowd's so checked out. Mm-hmm. It actually reminds me of 2013 Cena performance. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good crowd. Like a little the, better. Good story in the finish with him and Diesel. Yeah. All right. Uh 99. So that's mm, a, this uh, is an interesting event. Yeah, Vince. Ooh, this is interesting. I think. It, it it needs to be a three letter word. It needs to be met bad or mid, um, just because we need to fill these categories out here. Uh, uh, then I, I think we're moving another one down. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's definitely one of the more memorable, iconic ones. He's awesome on commentary. You know, getting the, his ass kicked by Austin. The finish is super. It's it's one uh, of the worst rumbles ever, though. Not because of him, <laughs> because of all the junk yeah. that's. All right, what, then who do you want to put him above? I'm more angry with the picture that was selected. Um, I, I would have him. Um, I'd have him in the good around around ahead of Drew. Ahead of Drew. What do you think, Chad? <laughs> oh God, these are so tough because it's like his performance is good. Him winning. I it's thought terrible. It was <laughs> no, it's part of a great story because it leads to Valentine's Day Massacre with him and uh, Austin having that awesome match. It sets up Mania. Like that's the whole story. Is like that. He sticks out like a sore thumb, like on the winning side of things. And I love Vince as a character, but he's still like super over as a heel. Like it's not late era Vince where I was like, oh, again, like you. All right, Vince Chad, mid or mid or good. I think I'm leaning the very top of mid. Ahead of Orton? Yeah. I didn't ahead of Triple H. So if you want to move Triple H down, that's fine. But I think he's ahead of Triple H in 16. It's a better version of that story. All right. We'll compliment it. I agree with that, actually. Okay. All right. So, Justin. Where are we at? Uh, Oh, me. Oh, 1994. So, co winners. Are we counting them as one? Okay, let's start with Lex. All right, are they good no, in separately or is one though? They're different. They're different winners. So this is just straight winners. So start right. with Lex, and you can have two. Luger's bad to me. He looks like a jackass. He gets you know beat up by by two bums in the back. Yeah. Come like we're supposed to believe he's injured, and then he comes out, and then he gets booed when it's the last two standing. Like I think it's, and then he does nothing at Mania. He shits the bed at Mania. I'd put him um, at the top though. Yeah, he's better than Del Rio. Yeah, I'm doing that. Uh, and then Brett to me is great. He uh, mm. sets the night up with Owen kicking his leg from his leg. Um, you really don't think he's coming back. And then he hobbles out. Um, he's great in the finish. The crowd is pumped and he goes on to win the world title off of it and have the great match with Owen at mania all through this night. So I think he's, he's phenomenal. Yep. This was one of our highest when Aaron and I were doing now entering the rumble, like he, his performance in 94 was at the top for a while. So do you want to um, put him above Cena? Do you want to put him? I think he's better than Oscar. Do you think he's better than Do you think he's better than Stone Cold Orton? I put him probably below Stone Cold. Okay. Right. He is a co winner here. I think you know? I'd put him. Yeah. I'd have him ahead of Austin ninety eight. All right. I think Rock's right. better than Austin in the ninety eight Rumble. How about Orton? Would you have him above Orton? I'd have him before, above Orton too because I think All right, that's go for more it. Of, I was trying to calibrate, but I'm fine. Yeah, Below I'd, Cena? Probably, I'd probably go there. I think 
the moment was seen as so tough. I mean, because it's like it's not like Cena does a lot. He's thirty for God's sakes. But the moment, right? Yeah, the moment, like the, the, the moment, moment overperformed the yeah. important performance. Yeah. All right, we're good. Chad got two. It's a tough one to gauge, but you know. All right. Uh, this is twenty twenty two. I'm gonna punch a hole. Two thousand and two. Close. Okay. Ooh. I'm going great here. I think this is an amazing rumble that's criminally underrated when you see a lot of the rankings. I was here live for this one. And what I like about this rumble is the star power that it has in it. And for that night, Triple H was the biggest star. And even the story of him to WrestleMania makes sense to me. And I thought his comeback performance and whatnot was fine. He's in this Royal Rumble, you know, a decent amount. It's not like he comes out at 30 and just runs through everybody. So he has a little depth in the performance. Um, I really enjoy it. I mean, I think it's, you know, he's probably maybe in this great tier. I'd only maybe have him above Oscar and maybe not. So it's lower in great. But I I, I love this Rumble. So that's what Yeah, I like. think it's legendary. It's one of the best Rumbles ever, easily. I mean, like you said, it's loaded. He's super over when he comes out. You know, they botched the story going into Mania, but it was the right pick for sure yeah. to win the match. I love the hurricane spot, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and we've talked yeah, about was- different ways to fix that card, but where you could have that not be for the title, right? And and turn things yeah. a bit on it. But I'd, I'd probably have him above Asuka. I would go above Asuka too right there. Okay. Even Orton, really. Yeah. All right, we're good. So Chad has one more. 2020. No, I'm kidding. All right, you have a 2006. So that's Ray. Oh, this is Ooh, right. Yeah. This one. This one's tough. I didn't want this one. I'm glad you have it. I don't think it's hard <laughs> oh, at all. God, this is gonna hurt because Ray's like one of my top ten favorites. My buddy Lars has him as the goat. But yeah, um, <laughs> I, I think it just. I think it has to be bad. Though. Yeah. Um, top tier bad though. Yeah, I'll go to yeah, yeah, probably above Lex. Yeah, it's it's just everything of that match. If you hear it, like, oh, Rey Mysterio is gonna be in the Royal Rumble, oh, come so out cool. at number two for an hour and just run through all the guys. It'll be a great underdog story. Like that sounds great on paper, and the execution right. is just so boring. I still don't know why. Like it was. I, I don't know if it was like the aging team of whoever agented the match that year or Ray himself or why he lays around so much, but it's never as obvious as in this match at someone just like laying on the ropes it's bad. for minutes at a time. It yeah, is it's so boring. bad. So he does nothing really, honestly, the whole match. Yeah, it is it's it's bad. Um, I mean, and then like he has a match with Orton at the February pay per view that's great, and the three ways great. I mean, there's the angle around it, but it's it's uh that's oh, I'm glad he won a Rumble. Sucks too. It's bad. Yeah, it's bad. It's definitely it's, bad. I can't believe we've had nothing in the Federation era or the Golden Era here. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're coming up on. We're gonna have a little run of them at the end. All right, I'm up next with 2001. So that's Austin. Mm. Uh, yeah. it, I mean, uh, it's great, obviously. Um, I mean, Kane really carries that rumble, but you get him and Rock are really good at the end. He had a win, that's to go right there. there. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. I, I think don't know, that's Chad, my uh, I like that. I think that works, dude. All right, all, all right. right, I got two, Justin. 1993, Yokozuna. Yokozuma? Yokozuma. Actually, this one's kind of hard. Um, It's either good or mid, really. I would say it's kind of – I would say it's mid just because it's, so, it's kind of boring as him as a winner. And he kind of – I don't think he's I bad. The end, of mid, end of mid or top yeah. of bad probably. But, again, it's obvious. But, you know. The finish is okay, where he finally gets knocked off his feet. Him throwing out like a bunch of guys. Him is pretty throwing out Macho is pretty memorable. 
he has the the shit uh, staring out with earthquake is pretty good too. The crowd pops big for that. So yeah. it does make yeah. him as a guy. He's only in the company for what three months leading yeah. into this. So that might be the quickest debut win ever, right? I guess. Yeah, I have to look back. Oh, top of my head, yeah, I'm probably. Um, I think so. Looking at these winners real quick, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm good. Is he above uh, Rock there? Just in the quake moment and the finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the and Rock didn't win the Royal Rumble. I'll tell you, Rock I is like borderline be. bad. It's it's not good. Um, we gotta respect the man for now, though. All right, give me one more. 2015. Oh, oh boy, another tough one. Uh, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> I would say it's better than Del Rio. You're gonna have Batista bad. You're gonna have you gonna have him as bad. It's similar. It's the same thing, really. And honestly, it's worse because they did it again. <laughs> yeah, it's like this worse point. Than to me, this like was, actually not. It's rejection. It's pure rejection. He's the bottom yeah, right now. Yeah, 2014, I think, gets retconned a little bit with what they do leading into Mania. Right. 2015 right. is like with 2014, you could in some ways give them the benefit of the doubt because it's like, well, Punk's got all this crap going on. Like, we didn't necessarily know there'd be this big ground swell for right. Ryan. And we already okay. decided to bring Batista back. And right, we were, we're bringing like, Batista back. He was a big star, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, I mean, in 2015, they put Brian in the match. And then, the, you, you know, you know you're going to do that. And then you know you're going to have the spot where he gets eliminated by Kane and fucking Big Show or whatever. And it's no, like, this, why no, eliminate isn't it? Isn't it 14 when they eliminate everyone, Kane and Big Show? Because no, they throw a punk, don't they? No, that's, that's 15. 15 oh, it? Where they just dump people. And yeah. it's just like, this is terrible. So, it, it this honestly, well, we're only doing one in pure ass, right? Yeah. 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 This to me is honestly a contender for that. Like, it is. It, it's just for it, the way it was booked, like, I see three contenders for pure ass. We'll get I'd there put as we this go. This one in there because I it I I mean this this is when they really lost me honestly and yeah yeah and you're out the of rock the blue ugh, the rock ugh. but he does get over for mania but that's for another day all right um it's it's to Chad oh excuse me Justin all right 2022 women no, I think this is close to pure ass Charlotte uh, exactly. uh, Ronda. <laughs> Yeah, right. I don't even have to talk about it. I, yeah, is, I, is the Royal Rumble's not good? <laughs> I feel like all of these. I mean, I guess we've got some great, but yeah. yeah. Well, we still got a bunch more to go. Yeah, we're pretty right. cool right now. If you look okay, at go, it. Chad. You got a good one. We got a good one to talk about. Yeah. 1990. Ooh, 1990. Get the Warrior Hogan mm. Ultimate Challenge you showdown. Get the, you get the big angle. With 1990, I'm going to go great here. Um, I think 1990s Rumble, I am now of the opinion that that controversially is a five-star match. Um, because I think you took the template of what the Rumble could be from, nine, from 88. You kicked it up a notch with 89, but there was still some wonky issues with it as we'll get to and then in 90 you really crafted like a perfect match and not only that but you used it as a stepping stone leading into your biggest show of the year like the money angle for wrestlemania is inside of this other match right whereas you see the other stuff like 89 it's the you know the main event when they finally explode in 88, it's the main event with the double Hebners. So, so like, they didn't use the Rumble as the stepping stone to the Mania main event. It, it could have, like, in 89, it was a part of the story. But but here, like, that's that's, that's the, the money. It's a great Rumble moment. That's the first great Rumble moment. performance was great, and the crowd is absolutely electric. Where um, do you want to go with it, Chad, on the great tier here? I'm, I'm pretty high on this one, actually, because I it's think. It's above like, Austin. It's above Orton. It's above yeah. Triple H. Yeah. I think you have to Austin debate all one. one. I think that's where we're at. I'd put it there. Um, I, I like that because and I and I'm 
of the opinion too that like perfect probably shouldn't have won. I, I don't think it's a problem that Hogan wins it here. Um, because it wasn't established like that, no, you know, yeah. the, that the person gets the, the match at Mania or whatever. I, I think Hogan's a great choice. He inevitably was going to win at least one of these. And I, yeah, it's a great match. It's, it, it's, you have it's it up um, I might actually have it at the top of the great, honestly, the more I think about it, just because with the match in itself, it's is better than Cena's. And I think yeah. I think it's I think it's very important. I mean, I think this match in of itself is very important to making I'm the rumble that. what it is. So yeah, and I think the ultimate the challenge Warriors moment is just as moment. memorable as the Cena return. Yeah, I yeah. think the ultimate challenge is a bigger moment is a better moment than the Cena return, and it meant yeah. more. It meant more. And this in his performance is better than Cena's by far. Yeah. All right, Chad. Uh, Twenty twenty two men. 2022 men. You called it earlier. You wanted it. Oh, the other proc. Um. Uh, any feelings on? I mean, I don't think I'm gonna have it's, this one high. It's but. probably it's bad. It's just it's not pure. It's worse. Okay. It's better than Ronda. It's it's just his performance is fine. It's just pure rejection. It, this oh. is like the peak of Vince just like throwing fuck you double birds at us. Yeah. They don't know where they're going with it. He interferes. Um. You know. He, he as when they took the. They put the belt on. Ugh, it's just a mess. This is like pure Vince of fucking around tomfoolery. Like Brock bullshit. reigns again for the millionth fucking Brock time. reigns again. It's just, it's, yeah, it's literally was, a mess. They don't know what they're doing at this point. And they just said it's safe to go with, with Brock. Yeah, no thank you there. Okay. All right. Uh, tw- 2004. Um, I'm not a one that like feels they like should omit. This is a tough one to rank. I mean... It's obviously a it's great like, performance. It's a great finish. It sets up a great mania moment. Um, I don't know. How much do we want to I think this is safe right here. It's just it's not really much to talk about. It's good. All right. I mean it's great, but yeah. What do you think, Chad? Uh I mean I I'd have it as great, but yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Honestly, I think it's right here. It, yeah. I'm fine. It's probably ahead of Orton. It's, it's probably ahead of Orton. like not to argue. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I, that is, I even going back and rewatching that rubble, I do like 90s been raised, but I, I, I mean, you know, but that's, that's how I am. I mean, God, we're doing a podcast where we're seeing Benoit every week. So it is what it is. I mean, yeah, we're not I, I, it's a I piece mean, of shit. Know, one it thing is, against it. Is, it, it. But, yeah, I didn't really like the elimination of of Big Show. I thought it was kind of anticlimactic. I thought it was kind of lame. Oh, I liked it. He had a grind. It right down I to really, the end. I really like the guy out. out too. Yeah, yeah. I it's thought such that a Benoit was... thing, you know. But it's fine. I, I think, think it's just anti Big Show. <laughs> and I think what happens at I think Mania is harder to watch back because of the finish than this is. Like Mania, if I watch that, I got to end it right at the end of the match. Like I don't, I don't watch the celebration. Yeah. This I feel like isn't as at that level. Um. All right, uh, Ryan, 2007. It's another good one. Mm. Taker. Oh, Taker. I, I think Taker's great here. You get a final stretch of mm-hmm. him and HBK. Um, I think it's right. safe to kind of throw it probably right here. I think it's great. How many I think we got in great right now? One, <laughs> two, we're at 10. Four, six, seven, so we're two. at capacity, so some may be jumping. We at least got one more to come for sure. Yeah. We got a – well, our goat's easy, but, yeah. I think this is safe. one more great, no doubt. I, I just move Oscar down to the top of good now because we got one more great coming. I would put Taker above Triple H. Maybe I'll All right, good. I'm good. All right, Ryan. Here's the other one. 1997. Oh. He's my Ooh. number. I'd put him either right before or after Hogan. Really? I think it's better than Hart. Eh. Yeah, it it it, stab, it it really puts a bow on his push, <laughs> you know. I think but the it didn't hold up as great, Chad, when we watched it for Warzone. But he is great. The rest watch, great in this. shit out of everyone. It's, yeah, the finish, it's a, like the aftermath's a little messy. About with Warzone, it's it. If you take his push as a whole, it fits as a good story. Um, 
as a at the moment time, uh, I mean the San San Antonio crowd's not too crazy about him. You know, I mean it's not like there was this clamoring that right. you know he needed to win this match. Um, he gives a really good performance in that. I think it's a interesting transition in how he's presented by the company because up to this point they were you know seeing him you were seeing him in more stuff and getting some traction but i mean now he's winning the royal rumble that's obviously a step up from hogan 90 like any winner of the royal rumble was somebody they were subtly behind big time so for him to win it even in these you know shoddy circumstances uh, that he does, it, it means a lot from a company optics perspective. Um, yeah, I mean, I think he's good there. I mean, we're going to have two in GOAT, right? So, I don't. I mean, we know what one of them is. So, I, I think we could put him in the debate. We can save that for later. So, I think he's fine there. All right. 2020 women. I don't, is that, who is that? I don't even know. It's Charlotte. You tell me. <laughs> Uh, Charlotte, she's probably the weakest, but not Ronda. Ronda's the weakest. I think she's mid. Um, going in hindsight, going her over Shayna was a shock, and, but I think it was the right choice. Charlotte needs to win one of these matches. I don't necessarily think Shayna was ready or ever like is the big enough star to win the Royal Rumble. Um, it might be bad just because, but the performance is pretty good. So I think it's mid for now. And her and The Rock might move down. All right, Chad's up next. We got 2012. Uh, Sheamus. Sheamus, the uh, infamous Cristolo prediction. Yeah. Oh, uh, well. Hmm. Battle Three, two of him and Jericho. Six, seven, eight. We got eight apiece on mid and bad. So we'll need four plus pure ass. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. But do I think any – I don't know if I would put this as good looking at it. Uh, I'm leaning top of mid. Well, but I still stand by my original stance from that day. Jericho should have won without doing anything. To me, that, that would have been the perfect storyline. Because Mary kept coming out and didn't talk. I would have had everyone out of the ring. Oh and yeah, just yeah, yeah. Ring by default, because and he doesn't do, touch anyone. Yeah, he um, just comes out. That would have been interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, but, I mean, Sheamus was a fine bad. winner, and he obviously yeah, has it's, a good it's, moment of mania. I kind of feel bad, but it's also yeah. not a very memorable rumble either. I think mid's it's kind of it's not a memorable rumble. It's kind of his silver watch moment too, you know. Yeah, I think I think I think mid's fine. All right, 1991. So that's Hogan's second one. Um, what do you think? Chad. Oh, God. In the, I look, definitely not as good as the first one. Um, I think that rumble actually has some boring. It, that rumble is an interesting rumble where it has some interesting moments with the Martell run, uh, a long DBIC run, and then the Bushwhacker Luke elimination. Um, I mean, Hogan, Earthquake is the final twos, whatever. Earthquake gets a little bit of a rub. Um, Ryan Sachs got a four. He's the right winner, and he gets a big pop. Yes. Um, uh, and he's one of the better nice. parts in it, but there's not a ton. It's a boring Yeah, I, I go I go mid, too. I, I, think, I think it actually almost works well with Sheamus that we just talked about. Like, yeah. it's not awful. He's above Sheamus. It's fine. Um this is that's Triple H is what sixteen is that the top of mid? Yeah, yeah. We might have to move him up now. <laughs> we might well, move him see. back. We still got more we'll to see. come. All right, nineteen eighty nine. You could put him in the end of bad. Big John Stud. Yeah, um, this terribly a, booked Rumble after he the might be pure bass. <laughs> I was like, say this is this is another pure ass contender. These contention. are my these yeah. bottom three are my pure asses from earlier. Yeah, it's a worthless moment. It's stupid finish. Just have DiBiase win. Um, yep. Do the mega power thing at the end. The whole back end is dead. He can barely move. He does nothing after. Mm -hmm. so. All right. 2018 men, Ryan. That's uh, Mr. Nakamura. Ooh, Shinsuke Nakamura. I think it's at least good. Uh, I would probably put it right in the middle of good right now. Yeah. Um, I don't know yeah, if it's, it's good enough good. to be great, but it's a great rumble. Chad, you've watched this a lot, right? 
Yeah, this is uh, my youngest son's favorite match. So I've watched this maybe more than anybody in history. I'd say it's better than Rhea. It's, it's a great rumble. Yeah. It's a really good Nakamura performance. I think it's hurt by the feud afterwards just because yeah. – it really felt like, again, this was going to be like his catapulting moment. And it was like, oh, I mean, even at the end of the Rumble when he calls out AJ Styles, like the crowd's popping for it. And it's like, oh, this is going to be a great feud, you know, all timer in ring quality and just wasn't. But, yeah, it's a real good performance and a uh, great Rumble. I mean, it's probably this one in 2002 are the ones I really champion and 2008 actually too. Like I, I put those as top, you know, seven. Star power all of them. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's awesome in it. And we're there live. It was, I just okay. don't think it's enough to go great. No. And well, I mean, I think it could, but I just think if we're limited, then no. Yeah. Right. Like I don't think it's it better versus than Asuka. Asuka is actually interesting. I think yeah. because I think when that show happened, you had a lot saying, like, I do prefer the men's rumble. Absolutely. Actually. Um, now, performance-wise, I I mean, I might actually prefer Nakamura, too. Yeah, I'd put him at the top. And then uh, it depends if you want Brock ahead of both of them or not. But I'd put him ahead of Asuka. Yeah. Do you want Brock I, ahead of both of them? I think, uh, I think that looks kind of cool with Brock because... I'd put Knock ahead of Brock because that's a better role. Well, I thought you said it was cool with Brock. <laughs> not, no, not no, Brock. I like Brock splitting them. Um, yeah. Just from yeah, that. I'm cool with that. All right. All right, Ryan. Maybe 88. we go 98, Knock. We'll go over it later. <laughs> 88. Hacksaw. Oh, oh no. All right, this is just bad. You know, it's fine. He's good in it. It's the middle of the bad. Move on. Yeah. You know, it's probably like – it's a better than Edge, better than Batista. Yeah, yeah I'd say – I'd say next to Luger. Yeah, that's fine. Right there. Yeah. All right. 2019 women. Becky. Uh, Becky I think she's mm, – I think it's good. I think she, it's it, – it's, it's disappointing, right? She comes her. out. She was injured. Yep. Well, we need uh, a couple of The crowd goes nuts for it. What do you think, Justin? Good? No, I'd move uh, – fuck. Put it, put it above Sheamus for right now. I think we might be moving Triple H and Hogan up, but we'll see. Um, all right. Chad, Chad that, the same one from that year, 2019 men. Oh, this is yeah. the worst one for Chad. Oh, well, I have a bias against this guy. Yeah, um, this is a tough one for you. I know where I'd put it. I'd probably uh, put it. I'd compare it to Shawn Michaels and Edge in the mid. Yeah, I, I think it's mid, which means we'll have to bump somebody down to bad. Well, we're going to move a couple of – yeah, we get some work. Yeah, yeah. I think All it's right. safe right there, smack in the middle, kind of like right. the Rollins. We can, we can do some work after that. Yeah. All right, well, let's talk 05. Let's do 05. And, and okay, uh, 05, I mean, Batista to me is great. I, I, yeah. You know, it, now this is where I think we want to slide. This is another, like, fantastic rumble. Um, it has a Underrated memorable double finish. Double um, it, 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 you know, I think it's a good finish, a, a real good finish on its own with Batista Cena. Um, really one of the few times where, you know, even with most other rumbles, when you get down to the final two, like you kind of know this one, mm -hmm. it could go yeah, either yeah. way. Then you have the inadvertent where they both eliminate each other simultaneously. <laughs> it's, there's his quads. Out, quads. I mean, it's, there's a lot going for this. Um, match itself, and I think Batista's performance is really strong, and mm -hmm. then it leads to maybe not necessarily the, I mean, obviously not one of the greatest rest, uh, WrestleMania matches with Triple H, but that's a really memorable feud. That's a really, like, pedestal type moment for Batista. Uh, so I have this up, you know, really high. Like, uh, I mean, in the... I was bread. thinking... Oh, think of, all right. I was going to say at least next to Triple H, but you want to go behind? I, I go, I go high because I think this is a rumble that's as good as the ones it's around. Like you know, it's it's yeah. in the category, but it meant more for Batista to win than like solidified. Eight, you know, no he's still seven. a lackey. Right. Yeah, Did he had the memorable angle the night next night on Raw too. Yeah, I think I'd have it below Austin on one. I mean, you're talking about the greatest top two. Yeah, I was going to put him next to Triple H. I was going to put him near the Undertaker. So, 
No, put him ahead of Undertaker this. behind Austin. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We, we can. We'll put our right. stamp one at the end. All right. Let's do uh, Bianca, and then we'll save the goat for the goat. All right. So Bianca, I think Bianca's good. It's it's a pandemic era. Eh. Thunderdome, you can't. Well, no, that's uh, no, that's that's Not a crowd. Thunderdome. Yeah. It's a really good Thunderdome. finish with her and Rhea too. It's a really good finish with her and oh, Rhea. Yeah, she comes in third can't. and she lasts and she's very active. I think. Uh, I think. No. Right. Here. No, not right there. Right there. I think right there, and we'll talk it's about. Not above it. ninety-one, Hogan. <laughs> what? It's in the Thunderdome. Not, you, you can't even compare it. That Miami crowd for the Rumble is super hot. Actually, she debuts and makes it. Oh, yeah. uh, we're talking about Hulk Hogan in 1991 setting up WrestleMania. We should do this. It cannot be above that. It cannot be above that. We should do this. You fucking sexist piece of shit, you. All right. Oh, what's the last yeah. One? oh yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. What do we need to balance? Um, I right, put Flair in the goat. Yeah. Oh, we know that. All right. So we got to get one more to go. Which I think we could debate. Uh, Top three is debatable. We need to decide, you know, is it Hogan, Austin, and then are we going to put anybody else in that debate or what? Um, I don't think Cena. I think Cena down now. So I would say Hogan or Austin is going to be okay. The, the I think it's Hogan. Ooh. I I think it's Hogan too. I I really do. Like yeah. Sets up the ultimate challenge. Yeah. Austin right. has three. Yeah, I'm good with that. So now Austin. we're good. We're good with go. We're good with great. We're good with good. Uh, well, one, before one, we go great, before we go great, 98 Austin versus 18 Nakamura. That's the only one I would make a make a uh, make a move for or a suggestion. I I mean I'm I'm good with whatever. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel you know any special yeah. way about it. I, I, I think the only argument you would make is that me Austin winning at WrestleMania 14 launched the attitude. Era, that's, the biggest... Yeah, that's why I put it in the great. That, yeah, but Nakamura stay in the great. If you want to move Orton down below Nakamura, I, I can see that. Nah, that Orton, that Orton runs. That's that's great. Do you want to move Benoit ahead <laughs> of Triple H? It. I'm good with it. Benoit had a Triple H. It's a better Mania match. Better performance in the Rumble. All right. I'm good with that. Whatever. I, I'm All indifferent right. to it. All right. All right. Who's or, our worst? Who's our pure or, ass? Uh, Stud so or Roman? I think there's, there's an argument for all three, right? Stud yeah. is the worst. Of the of the three competitors and the choices, Stud is the worst. Roman's the worst booked. Um, and Ron is probably the worst performance. Like, <laughs> like or, or whatever. So, um. I don't think it's Ronda. I, I think Stud I don't or think Roman it's Roman. Ronda either. I think it's Stud or Roman, and it's just what Stud's. The... Roman was over going into WrestleMania at least, but he had the biggest rejection. <laughs> but Man, it was... it's just like God. Like you had twenty five years of this match, and people said like it's foolproof. Like the formula works. And yeah. like, it's, it's probably fought. the worst rumble ever. I mean, that's. I mean, with stuff, it's know. like they didn't know. Like, yes, it's right. on pay per view in '89, but, and I guess they didn't know how like done, done he was too. Like, he was so done. It's maybe Roman. it's the worst rumble Let's ever. Go Roman. It was a dedicated Roman. choice to go yeah. with the guy that nobody wanted to see win, only because of Brian. They put yeah. Brian in there, like. Just the whole – it's just bad. It's just bad all around. Um, I would Charlotte, move Charlotte down. Sh well, Charlotte versus The Rock. Because Charlotte's not bad. The, you said The Rock's bad. Charlotte's just very mid and boring. Let's put Charlotte in bad just so we can piss off all the uh, North-South Connection members. By saying so Charlotte was bad. There we go. Charlotte's <laughs> mid, by the way. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rock, I, yeah, I mean, that Rock 2000 is pretty No, nah, I mean, Rock 2000 is not great either, but I don't know what I'd have above that, honestly. I mean, the Charlotte one, I don't know. But I'm not going to die on the hill, but. It's it's just the worst women's besides Ronda. I, I think it's mid. It's just for, she's uh, getting sacrificed because of the tears here. Right. Uh, I think Shawn Michaels should move up Yeah. to here. Okay. 
see, I think both of these are good, but I think this is easy. If we put Hulk ahead of yeah. Triple H in 16. I would you, move Vince up. To me, Vince would be ahead of – Drew's better than Cody. I don't care what you guys say. I would have Vince ahead of both of them and maybe Rhea. That's me. Well, here's the thing. You guys overrated Asuka, but so that means we have to overrate Rhea. Then move Vince ahead of both of them. No, Vince isn't good. <laughs> Vince, Vince isn't good. Vince go by the uh... – He's awesome. Vince That's isn't good. Run. He's awesome in that whole match. The book Scott Michaels is great. better than Vince here. No. Give no, he's not. Break. No, he's not. Yes, he in is. The middle of the uh, is fantastic, too. Any arguments all for Rhea above Asuka? I think so, but Justin put her in great. So it, it, Rhea's like got uh, penalized for being early, pretty much. I think Rhea's performance out of all the We're women. Oscar. I don't care, but Vince should be ahead of both. But Asuka has the the first win historically, but Rhea's yeah. is the best one. I mean, Asuka's performance, I think, is solidly good, but Rhea. Had a rumble, too. Like in watching that women's rumble back from this year. I don't think match. it's I don't think it's a great match. I think that was a singular great performance yeah. by Rhea. Her finish is, the finish is great with her. All right, Chad, break the time bench before we go here. Well, I put Rhea. I I say put Oscar below Rhea and then have Vince above both of them. Now, are we doing the wrong thing putting Vince between two women? Have him being no, sus- put Vince sus- above. Oh, he's ahead of Rhea. Oh my God, you guys are killing me! It's not good. <laughs> I'd, I'd, have really <laughs> I'd have him above Brock. It's not good. I'd have him above Brock. It's not good. I'm good with Vince right there. I think we could put a pin in there. Is it's a bad rumble, Drew's... but it's a, it's a great storyline and, and performance from him. That's the and it 15th. All the in the world. That's 15th on our tier maker. That seems right. Yeah, top but, third. That's perfect. Yeah, third. ahead ahead of all women. So maybe not the best <laughs> optics. <one. laughs> you know. I fought for it, people. It's, it's I where it lands, like guys. Let's see if you put Benoit in the in the great. All yeah, I mean, all. Benoit's top ten. So we morality's out. Bring that out the window too. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. All right. I all right, I, I, I legit think Becky. I think Becky or Bianca is better than Triple H. I just do. For sixteen. He's I mean, in there for fifteen minutes. The Becky is a better moment. Bianca well, is a better moment. One them. Which one of those do you like? Uh, not Thunderdome. Let's do Becky. Yeah, do Becky then. But for Bianca to make it work within a Thunderdome, I whatever. know. But make it work like I, I don't I mean. Maybe I need to rewatch it. But then I think it's the Thunderdome. I'm not gonna rewatch it. So it's a really good story. They do a good job. All right. Um, HBK or Bianca? I, I, like, I'm starting to feel all right about this. Okay. I think we're good. I don't see anything else glaring. Can we put Yokozuna ahead of Seth Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, buddy. There we go. That looks I'm doing that. Nah, Edge had the pop. Yeah. Should we put Edge think, in 30? Uh, <laughs> I just I want to throw Ben Wild. Do we? Should he be higher? Or not? Out of the Are we good with him? Who Benoit? Yeah, ahead of oh, Undertaker. If we're having him in here, we're we just ahead of Batista. Either we either we have him in and rank it, or we have him out. Like that's my thought. Like, oh, he's already in. He's in. But if he's in, then I think we got to rate rate him properly, and I think it's higher. Well, where though? Below, I'd put him below Batista. I would put him right here. <sighs> well, <laughs> a single <laughs> moment throws me off so much because that's such a great moment. I know. But again, it's four minutes in a match. But it's the greatest moment, the greatest return. It sets the bar. The mocks were smurved. And then you have Benoit ahead of Batista. That's mm-hmm. Austin 01. I think Batista stuck more. That's Austin 01, which I'm, that's I don't know if that's low too. I don't know. Low or high? If it should be higher. No. Ahead of Brett, yeah, I think Brett's a co-winner. I think They're both kind of sets up the biggest match in their history after Hogan Andre. I mean, it's awesome. And then Bre- it's team. the same story. Brett it's gets like attacked backstage. Austin time. gets attacked by Triple H. It's the same story. I like. I, I personally like Austin's better. 
I love the Brett one. I just I don't know if you're looking at meaning and importance. Like I think Austin's is high. And it's a co-winner. I think Austin's got more loaded Chad, rumble. Well, we're, Chad loses anyways. We're moving Austin up with two to one. <laughs> All right. How about Benoit versus Batista? I say it's good, Chad. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think I'm good with that. Like, all right. As a match as a whole, it was a great performance. But Batista, I mean, even beyond like, <laughs> I mean, even if Benoit didn't kill his family, like he wasn't gonna be a main event player more than likely going forward. Like he was on the the back nine of his career. So, like these are legendary guys, and I don't want like to like, like for Batista that was the the catapult to him being a star. Benoit had his run, but then he definitely went back down to his role in the card with U.S. and whatever level. So, was what it was. All right. Anyone want to make one last volley for either one? I'll start. All right. Drew above Cody. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, Cody's staying. We're oh, done. that's so no. wrong. We're not it's reading so them all down either, right? You can see him on the screen. You've been watching for an hour. You're good. Uh, Flair's our goat. <laughs> Roman's our worst. Yeah, the most hurt. predictable number one, by the way, of any list. Oh, we didn't even give him a freaking to a to yeah. tulip oh. here. He got he should have got his flowers. He didn't even give him a tulip. An hour and six Everyone minutes, and he got 30 seconds of discussion. But best not Rumble, even best performance. Everyone knows it. It's yeah. not you don't even have to talk about it. Yeah. All right. Be sure to subscribe to us on connection. We have all kinds of cool stuff like this. This is a fun one. Rumble season's the best. We'll have a lot more rumble stuff to come this month. Um, plus some other really cool things. You have to subscribe because you don't want to miss what's cooking. Uh, starting off on January 1st through WrestleMania season. We have a really cool project coming, so be sure to check in. Uh, you can follow us on any podcast application. We have long-form podcasts there as well. And uh, that'll do it for Chad, Ryan, and JT. We're out. Talk to you soon. Keep on rumbling. <laughs>